Hi, this is Lawrence Mozafari here for FHM.com and today I'm in Tor Point in Plymouth and I am going to be training with the Royal Navy so on this behemoth. It's called the Hazard. It's going to be pumping in 350 tonnes of cold water in an hour. It's going to be up to waist height, I'm going to be freezing. I'm dry for now, it's not going to last. We're talking smoke, we're talking freezing cold water and we're talking hammering wedges and hoping they'll break in my fingers. Let's give it a go. Okay, we have the cadets that go through the havoc uh, so that we can simulate a real incident. So on board we have damage that's already in place and what we'll do is we'll simulate uh, a raid from aircraft and then the impacts, the lights will go out, smoke comes on and there'll be a sound of rushing water. And then the recruits or students will have to go down below and put into practice the skills that we've gone through with them already. So we're trying to simulate a real incident hoping that they'll never have to do it for real. First time anything like it. First time I've trained on any Navy facilities instead of Army stuff, and fantastic bit of kit. It's a great toy, <laughs> right. and it really good training as well. You, you wouldn't think it from something like this, but it does apply to Army operations as well. Like right. you might not think that help stopping a ship sinking is what we're after, but it's all about finding an unfamiliar situation and learning how to solve problems you hadn't thought about before, which is a skill that applies everywhere. So it's like a, a good ground for building teamwork. It was quite surreal when we got in, it was very lifelike, which is a bit bizarre. The, the darkness is what we didn't expect, they told everybody that right, we're going to get jumped. But then about 30 seconds before the missile hit, the blow starts spraying the smoke around, and you think, OK, it's going to be a bit tricky, and the sound is deafening. It was good fun, though, and I think we worked well. Like, for people who have no naval training, I've never even been on a boat like that, so I was like, it went pretty well. Uh, how do you think I got on? I, I think... <laughs> Well, actually, you responded rapidly to the commands, and I mean, I think you lost two or three hammers, which were like about the vital bit of kit when you're hammering bits of wood into the side of the ship. You got five feet of water below you. The last thing you really want to be doing is dropping a two-pound hammer to the bottom of the deck. But we had spares. We're prepared for that sort of thing. Went well. Yeah, that was the bit where we were trying to get the the wedges into the big main chunk as well. That was quite interesting. Trying to like shove them in there. It was easier to block the little holes, but <laughs> the big ones. Street. And I, I certainly heard a couple of shouts from you of, I can't get it in. <laughs> <laughs> Something I wasn't expecting from an FHM reporter. So here I am after my run at the Havoc, and that is exactly what it was. So hard to keep the composure in there. Before you know it, the water's at waist height, it's dark, people are shouting, you can barely understand them, and the simplest of tasks, you have to hammer this wedge into the hole, and you can't do it for the life of you. The water's rushing at you, it's dark, you're tired, you're frustrated, and all I can say is that I could not do that for real and a massive amount of respect, you know, respect going to the Royal Navy because uh, I don't know about you guys at home but I don't think I could hack it and today was a real steep learning curve.